Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. With little warning, the prohibition on trans women competing in women's only sports was tagged onto a bill dealing with charter schools and rushed through both chambers in a matter of hours. It caught us totally off guard. Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith has been one of the most vocal opponents of the legislation. He says the bill is discriminatory on its face, despite the ban only applying to high school and college athletics and the removal of language that would have allowed for challenging the biological sex of student athletes. Transgender kids who were playing in team sports in Florida across the state right now will be expelled and humiliated in front of their peers. They did nothing wrong. LGBTQ activists held a virtual press conference Thursday calling for the governor to use his veto pen. Laws like these are intended for one thing, to legislate trans people out of existence in society, to expel us from public spaces, block our access to basic human dignities. Adding pressure on the governor, the NCAA has promised to boycott states that implement trans athlete bans. It's up to the governor to figure out whether or not attacking trans youth is worth losing $75 million in economic activity jobs uh, and tournaments from NCAA here in Florida. And even if the governor signs the bill into law, legal challenges are all but guaranteed. A similar law in Idaho has been put on hold by a federal court. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.